Justice 2. I read a news article a while ago, which I wanted to briefly discuss. It reported on a head of state who abused his power by granting immunity to corrupt people. One of the major reasons why society seems to be digressing is because people have abandoned acting justly. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, once warned in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 6787, that previous nations were destroyed as the authorities would punish the weak when they broke the law, but would pardon the rich and influential. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, being the head of state, even declared in this narration that if his own daughter committed a crime, he would enforce the full legal punishment on her. Even though members of the general public might not be in a position to advise their leaders to remain just in their actions, but they can influence them indirectly by acting justly in all their dealings and actions. For example, a Muslim must act justly in respect to their dependents, such as their children, by treating them equally. This has been specifically advised in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 3544. They should act justly in all their business dealings, irrespective of who they deal with. If people act with justice on an individual level, then communities can change for the better, and in turn those who are in influential positions, such as politicians, will act justly whether they desire to or not, as they would be convinced the general public would not tolerate it. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.